I'm throwing up another one of these Harbor Freight portable garages. See, so I got one back here. A couple over there. <laughs> I just thought uh, I'll make a video real quick, show you what they look like on the inside and shit, and kind of how they go together. So it's the tube frame construction. There's actually not even any nuts and bolts yet at this point. They all just slip together. And then this front piece here is with the zipper door. I'm working on that. But it hangs the same as that side. And then you throw the main tarp over the side. And then eventually you have cross braces here that connect and sturdy it up. And they run through the main tarp that goes over. It's got little slots for them to run through. Even, uh, even my Durango here fits in it. I think it's, seen, it's just got third row seating and everything, V8 four-wheel drive. I think it's 16 foot long. This damn thing fits in these. I use it as a ladder to get up there to <laughs> hammer that shit together because uh, once you got the frame up, you got to pop these ends out here to hang that strap like that and then put it back together. So you need a ladder to get up there to get these end pieces over. I'm going side one over here. Show you kind of what the inside looks like once it's all put together. So that's just a zipper door. Kind of need two hands. Just because it wants to fold up on me. There's a busted ass Camaro. Like I said, the Durango fits too, and I still got a side to walk, a little bit of room to walk on each side. And even a full size muscle car fits in there, no problem. It's even got these Velcro up here. And somewhere. Oh, it's on the inside. There's little straps here. So you can roll up the door if you want, and then Velcro it on the outside, and it'll hold it up if you want. That way, you don't gotta. You know, drag the door on the roof of the car or whatever, pulling it in and out if you don't want to. And they come with anchors, but I just got it tied down to these cinder blocks. Had some pretty strong winds here, and it moved a little bit, but really I think it's just because the slack I had in the rope. Seems to hold it for the most part. I would just add some blocks at each post, and it definitely wouldn't move. Because I just got one in each corner. So we're backed up all the way here and the car's pushed mostly to the right side. There's still room in the front a little bit. I see this was center in here. But the uh the wind blew this thing off to the side. Didn't tip it over though, and that goes for all of these. So yep. There's your anchors. If you want to use them. I got gas line buried through the line, so that's why I didn't use them. I'm just tying it up with blocks. And it gives you this rope so you can tie shit to it if you want. There's what I got left of this one. There's eyelets in that main tarp that goes over so you can tie the rope through. And you just kind of throw the rope over the top and then you pull from the other side and just pull it over. Get it straightened out. The ratchet straps to that post right there like I got over there. And uh, then you install the cross braces at the bottom there and it's good to go. You just gotta anchor it down or weight it. <laughs> 